Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting algebra question. We know that the product a times b equal to 4 and a thumb a plus b equal to 1 and we need to know our a and b. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check your answers. Okay, so this is like a basic system of equations. So right now from this second equation, let's express for example our b. So let's do this right now. Our first step is to express our b. So b from here is equal to 1 minus a. So 1 minus 1 minus a. And right now let's plug in this 1 minus a instead of this b in this in this first equation. So we're gonna plug in this into first first equations, into this one. So as a result, what do we have? We have a times instead of b we're gonna plug in this one. 1 minus a. So 1 minus a and equal to equal to 4. Right now let's simplify this. It looks like a quadratic equation, but let's see what will happen. As a result, we have a minus a times a equal to a square and equal to equal to 4. Yeah, this is our quadratic equation, but right now let's change an order a little bit. First of all, we need to have 0 on the right side. So for this, let's write this 4. So let's subtract 4 from both sides. As a result, we have a minus a square minus 4 and equal to 0. This is, yeah, this is a quadratic equation, but we need to change an order because we prefer our a square on the first position. So let's change an order a little bit. As a result, we have minus a square plus a on the second position and minus 4 equal to 0. And our last tricky move, we're going to multiply or divide both sides by minus 1. It changed nothing, but in the same way, we can change this sign to a positive 1, okay? We really need this, yeah? As a result, we have a square minus a and plus 4 equal to 0. And there are a lot of approaches how can you solve this quadratic equation, but I'm going to show you this one. So this is like the basic one. Everyone know about this method. Method of like coefficients. We need to know about coefficients a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1, and c equal to equal to 4. These are our mm, coefficients. And of course, we need to know our discriminant and we need to plug in all of these elements into our formula. So right now, first of all, let's find our discriminant real quick. So discriminant equal to b square minus 4a for a c. As a result, we're going to plug in it. So as a result, we have minus 1 square, so b square minus 4 times a times 1 and times c equal to equal to 4. As a result, we can simplify this. We have 1 right here, minus 1 square equal to 1. So we have 1 minus 4 times 1 times 4 equal to uh, 16. Yeah. So as a result, we have minus 15. So our discriminant is negative. So as a result, we can say that our, right here we have complex roots. Okay. In terms of like school knowledge, uh, you can say that we, right here we don't have real number roots, but in our case, we're interested in a solution. So right now we're going to find our uh, complex pairs of solutions. So here's our uh, a first and second. We're going to plug in it in our, um, our formula. So as a result, we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over to a. We know everything. We know b, we know d, we know we know a, so right now let's plug in this each of these elements into this spot. So as a result, minus b, so minus b equal to minus 1. So as a result, we have minus minus 1 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of 15 and dividing all of the thing by by 2a. 2a, 2 times 1. a equal to a equal to 1. Okay, really great. We can easily simplify this. Minus minus is plus, so we have 1 plus minus right here this square root sorry right here minus 15 yeah right here this minus 15 we can easily write as square root of minus 1 times 15 so we can easily write it like that as a product yeah and we divide it by by 2 right now this is equal to right now we need to know a really great property so whenever we have expression like square root of a times b we can easily split it as square root of a times square root of b it works only with multiplication and division. In our case, we have it, so we can easily split it. Okay, as a result, what do we have? We have 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of, of 15. And we divide all of the thing by, by 2. And the square root of uh, minus 1 equal to e. So as a result, we have mm, our complex unit. So as a result, we have 1 plus minus i square root of of 15 and dividing by 2. And uh, maybe a lot of students interested in a real part and imaginary part. So right now I'm going to split it. So right now let's split it. Let's divide our numerator by 2. So right now let's write our a first and second, our two pairs of solutions. So we have 1 half plus minus i square root of 15 
over over two. So these are the two uh, two complex roots. So right now let's find our um, second. Uh, we have a. We need to find our b. But uh, let's write it right here. So but b equal to. 1 minus 1 minus a. So this is from the beginning, okay? We had it in the beginning, so b equal to 1 minus a. So right now, let's find our b first and b, b second, so we can easily split it. So let's start, for example, right here on the left side. So b first equal to 1 minus 1 minus a first. So let's plug in instead of this a first, let's plug in, for example, with the positive sign, okay? So we have b first equal to 1 minus one half, so let's write with the with the positive sign plus i square root of fifteen over over two. Let's simplify this real quick. So as a result, we have b first equal to one minus one half, and minus i square root of fifteen over two. We can easily subtract right here, one minus one half. So we have b first equal to one half. Yeah, minus i square root of fifteen over to we have looks like a symmetrical thing because we have a negative and we considered it a positive a so as a result we have looks like the same thing but with the positive a first negative b first and right now it's not hard like to see that b first b second gonna be on the same with the same principle as we did before so as a result we have b second equal to one minus a second a second we're gonna consider with the mm, with the with the negative sign so as a result we have one minus one half minus i square root of 15 over over 2. As a result, we have b second equal to 1 minus 1 half and plus i square root of 15 over over 2. As a result, our b second equal to a 1 half plus i square root of 15 over over 2. So as I said before, we have looks like symmetrical roots. Right now, let's write them our final answer to this question, and then we're going to check it real quick, okay? So as a result, our pairs, uh, let's write it, I'm going to split it, because it looks like our final answer, so I'm going to split it real quick. So as a result, we have our pairs a and b equal to the first pair, a first, this one with the positive sign, so 1 half plus i square root of 15 over 2. And we have the second one, we have 1 half minus i square root of 15 over 2. And of course, the second pair, we have uh, the same thing, but with the with the different sign. So the right here negative, right here positive. So 1 half minus i square root of 15 over 2. And we have 1 half plus i square root of 15 over 2 over to and we have the final tricky moment because maybe a lot of students might be thinking this is something wrong right here we have uh, i squares right here so if something goes wrong so right now let's change it uh, let's let's check it real quick so right here i'm gonna write prove right here so in the beginning we had that our a plus b equal to one and a b equal to equal to four Right now, let's check it real quick, but it's really easy for us because we don't need to check both pairs because we have addition, so it doesn't matter. We have like 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2, so we can easily check one of these and everything will be great. And the same thing works perfectly with the multiplication. So 2 times 3 equal to 3 times 2, yeah? So 2 times 3 equal to 3 times 2, so we can easily change these uh, values uh, right here on the first, on the second position, so these values, values are changeable, okay? We can easily change a position, change in order so we don't need to check both of these uh, both of these answers right now for example let's check this first pair so addition okay so we have one half plus i square root of 15 over 2 plus one half minus i square root of 15 over 2 need to be equal to 1 okay let's see so right here we can easily cancel this expression we have one half plus one half so from here we have one half plus one half equal to 1. So everything works perfectly. Addition works works perf perfectly. Let's check real quick our multiplication. It's much interesting for us to, more interesting for us to check multiplication. So let, right now let's uh, do this. So we have first parenthesis 1 half plus i square root of 15 over 2. And we're going to multiply it by the second parenthesis 1 half uh, minus i square root of 15 over 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 two and you know right here if you look closely we have mm, our identity from school because 
if we know this formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b or a plus b is the first the next thing we have a minus b so if you know this formula you can easily see the same thing right here because we have uh, one half this is for example our a we have a right here and for example this is our b this is also our b so we have a plus b a minus b so we can consider it as a, um, as a difference of squares okay as a result we have one half square so the first we're gonna raise to the second power and we have minus b square but b square equal to i square root of 15 over over 2 so we can, can we can raise this to the second power as well and as a result we have right here we have one half to the second power equal to one fourth minus right here we need to raise all these elements into the second power okay i square we have i square square root of 15 we have square and we have two square yeah and as a result we can see that one one force right here minus we have i square equal to minus one so as a result right here we have not minus but plus and square root of 15 to the second power equal to 15 over two square equal to equal to four so as a result we have 16 over four which is equal to 4, yeah, because we have uh, our common denominator, we have 4 4, so as a result we need to we need to add our numerator, so 4 right here and 4 right here, so everything is absolutely great, so I don't have enough space, so I'm gonna write right here that this is our answer, answer to our question. So it was my solution to this question, I really hope you enjoy it, and of, of course if you have a question you can also write a question down into the comment section, I will help everyone if you have a problems with the math with, with this type of question, and to be honest this is not uh, a hard question, this is a basic uh, system of equation from, from school algebra, yeah? it's not that complicated, but I, I try to solve it for you, and I, hope you, I really hope you enjoy it. So thank you for your time, thank you for your, for your support, see you in the next videos, and have a great day, also write your notes, write your comments down into the comment section, it's really interesting to read your respond and hope you're doing great see you in the next videos and have a great day